single leg hamstring curl with a slider, just the eccentric component. So really what that means is the muscle group that we're targeting is the hamstrings, and we're gonna focus on the eccentric part of the movement, meaning when the muscle group is lengthening, not when it's shortening, okay? The eccentric component of most movements is more of an approachable way to get over the difficulty of something because of its range. So this is how it's gonna look like. By the way, you need a tumble track slider, not one of those circle ones that you can get from Amazon. Those are not very good. This is significantly better due to the shape of it, okay? And it's also kind of more of the shape of a foot. So you have to have your heel on it. That's very important. Not your whole foot, just your heel. Now, because we're focusing on the eccentric, we're only going to extend the leg with the butt up, okay? So here is what it's gonna look like. Hands by your hips, yes, they're gonna help you a little bit, your arms. Don't have your hands like this or like this. That would make it exponentially more difficult. So here's what you're gonna do. Lift the other leg, the one that's not being used, hover your butt, extend your left leg as far as it can get, then put your butt down, right foot down, pull it back in. Hover, lift your right leg, extend slowly as far as it'll get. Okay? It's okay if your knee doesn't fully extend, I don't think mine did, but I'm trying. Left leg up, hover, extend as far as you can get, slowly, don't rush it, as terrible as it is. Butt down, pull it back in. Oh, forgot to put my left foot down, but it's okay. All that matters is I'm not doing much work when I come back in. Okay. Yes, you're gonna feel your calf. Yes, you're gonna feel your hamstring and behind the knee. And behind the knee. Totally normal, don't freak out.